Welcome back guys, and tonight I've got an update video for the X-Power Blower that I did a review on last week. If you may recall last week, I left slightly disappointed with the power output, and I mentioned that there was a mod that I could have done, but I wasn't able to do it. It's the 4th of July. <laughs> so I did the mod, and I shortened the hose. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so, as you recall the blower, the hose was five feet. I cut it down to where it's, I actually haven't measured that, probably about two and a half feet. Now, anyone that uses a canister knows that's the whole point of having a canister. Just get a longer cord. I mean, for what I'm gonna use it for, it's gonna work perfectly fine. Um, I'm not gonna be using around super dusty things. This is mainly just for me to play with and dry stuff with, because that's what I use it for is to dry stuff with, so it doesn't matter. But, let's see what the scale says. So what it said, I'm gonna get the camera set up. Be back in a moment. All right guys, so before we get into tests, I wanted to show you just how I did this. I am not an engineer. I do not have many tools to do this with. But what I did, just keep in mind this will absolutely void your warranty absolutely will void it so if you do this be prepared to keep the unit for yourself um so i cut the hose and i tried to connect it together with super glue just to hold it together so i can get this shrink wrap tubing on it well we all know super glue only works when it's on your hands <laughs> so that didn't work so then i got some c-clamps and just ever so lightly just press them to hold it in place basically. And I got a bead of E6000, laid it down, let it cure, well let it sit. And I did the bottom side just as carefully. By then it was strong enough to move so I took it off and I put the bead on the two sides to connect it. So under these, this there is actually a, um, there actually is a bead of E6000. And then on top of that it, I have some three inch shrink wrap tubing that I put on top of it. Uh, that port, it is covered up, so no air is coming out. So I guess with that said, I was going to show you how I did this. Just in case if anyone wants to do this, which I'm not an engineer. There's probably way better ways. So I guess with the first test, one filter is into the motor. Let's do low. From one inch. I'm averaging 295 on that setting. Let's go ahead and do high now. We all get high. I'm getting 425, which is way, way higher than the actual uh, hand one does. It said, if you recall, it was 325, so it is definitely much higher, which is going to be perfect for what I need, which is literally just blowing water off of things. So I guess what I said, that's going to be my updated review of the X-Power canister blower. Got any questions for me? Comment in the comments. I want to give you a try in the comments. With that said, thank you guys very much for watching. Have a good night.